All right, it's 5.55 a.m. and we go to peak um, electric usage, time of use in five minutes. And I had done the math last night and I knew Ruby wasn't gonna be done charging, so she's got 20 more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and stop charging because uh, I don't need the extra miles today and it would cost us, uh, you know, cream electric money there to keep on going. So we watch every morning, we do the math at night. If we really need to, uh, you know, she's not going to be done by 6 a.m., we stop her. <laughs> and the little sweetheart's over here playing this morning. Hey, night time. So I went into the app that shall be nameless this morning for Echo, and uh, there's a new feature that allows you to set it up so that um, your music plays on all devices at the same time. So now when I need to wake people up in the morning, I can pump Van Halen into all the rooms. Well, all the kitties were out here waiting this morning. I suspect the girls are back in the house, as you can see, Tuck's here. And uh, it's working out good that in the rainy mornings, their food's underneath now. Yeah. So the dry chow won't get wet, and they can go underneath there and eat some more later on. You know how cats like to have a little bit now and a little bit later. I'm the first one out here this morning. Yay! I'm sure they'll be along shortly. Oh, Donnie has my seat on this morning. It's warm in here. <laughs> Today's picture is a uh, shot that I took of the polar bear at the North Carolina Zoo a couple years ago. Uh, I was totally thrilled with this shot. He, or maybe she in this case, I don't remember, um, is playing with one of the balls in the big, uh, the big tank in the older area. But yeah, this is so cool. Third morning in a row where it's raining and chilly out and just not pleasant. We haven't seen the sun since Monday. Yeah, it's just not friendly looking out there at all. First chance of a frost freeze Friday night with a low of 31. We'll see. Then it warms back up into the 40s overnight. So it'll be short lived cold. But uh, yeah, Saturday morning is not gonna be too nice out there. All right, you guys have a good day. I'll see you this afternoon. Buy one, get one free Starbucks. Yep. Bye, Molly. Bye, buddy. Love you. Just a small thing, but this is the second time in a month I've seen the climate off message get stuck up on the screen. As you can see in here, the climate is uh, definitely on. Now it's easy enough to get rid of. I just press the scroll wheel and, um, you know, go through, move it around a little bit. And uh, then it goes away. That started to happen uh, after the uh, camper mode stuff, as Bjorn calls it, went on. Um, I think it's just a little glitch there. You guys staying nice and dry there? Huh? You staying nice and dry? Yeah, it's still raining out here. That's good kitties. That's good kitties. 
Hi. Hi. Well, that day went by fast again, and I'm now back on my way to pick up the boys. I spent uh, most of the morning watching YouTubes and working on a uh, Christmas video for Guardian Angel about the merchandise that's available in the local stores this time versus uh, the online stores. So, yeah, who knew doing something as simple as generating a word cloud of available items was going to take like an hour because I just fiddled and fiddled and fiddled with it. But, yeah. So, uh, it's not currently raining, but it's not any prettier out than it has been. It, and it's still wet and damp. It's 47 degrees. So, yeah, not pretty. But, um, I'm on my way to get them. So, I've got the boys. And what are we excited about? Starbucks. Starbucks. And what else are we excited about? The fact that we have Friday off. Yep, it's a virtual Friday. Tomorrow they have off uh, in honor of uh, Veterans Day. Well, I was worried there would be tons and tons of people in the drive through line. And while it is full, it's not uh, backed up too far. So consider this your Starbucks public service announcement, coffee break, need caffeine announcement. Through Monday afternoon from 2 to 5, it's buy one, get one free holiday drinks, hot or cold. Here picking up the mail and the car's on and what don't you hear? You don't hear the car because that's just how quiet it is. Oh, this is the coldest I have ever seen Joey in his life. He drank that whole drink up right away and he's freezing. <laughs> Go open it up. Go on in. <laughs> oh Donnie. Look what I brought you! I love you! Oh, wow. Bought me a coffee drink. <laughs> Caramel brulee. Oh, there's, this is illegal. <laughs> I know for a fact. There's laws. <laughs> I have good news. Technically, mine and yours were free. Technically. Yep. That's yep. always a good idea. Yep. Enjoy it, Donnie. We mm. love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at Joey. <laughs> He's over here, he's shivering. <laughs> so Ruby has a new mascot until Thanksgiving. Yeah, my little Anna Lee Pilgrim um, mouse elf came in the mail today off eBay. These ones with the little round felt on the bottom will, you know, just stay up there without having to uh, do anything. Just for a few days. I know, I know, don't junk up the Tesla, but you know, hey, when a girl's got to decorate, she's got to decorate. So Don promises me that the rain is going to clear out overnight and it will be drier tomorrow. However, then tomorrow night we're going to drop down to near freezing for the first time this year. With uh, no clouds, the bottom's going to fall out on the nighttime temperature. So, yay! It's going to be dry, but cold. Poor Tux hasn't had as much attention in the last couple days because it's been raining out. But the rain has now stopped, hopefully for good. I cannot believe we have to go to Taekwondo and it's nearly dark out. I know the video is making it look more bright than it is. <laughs> Cold and dark does not make for good, good exercise motivation.
Wow, that was quite invigorating. Yep, I'm feeling pretty good right now. And uh, coming out into the cold air, pretty awesome after that workout. What do you think, Johnny? Tired. Tired. <laughs> I thought your kicking was good tonight. You'll probably laugh at me a little bit, but I finally figured out how to turn on my high beam lights when they're not on and I want more light. I mean, of course, I have it on auto, so the car will take it off high beams when it thinks it should, right? Which is good. But yeah, coming down the road leading to my house, there's a lot of deer at this time of year, and you really want to be on the lookout for them. And, uh, you know, high beams are much appreciated, so... Yeah, I figured that out. I, I don't know how I went this long and didn't know. It's in the same spot as it is on the Honda. What are we excited about? Starbucks! And what else are we excited about? What, what else? else? We'll try that again in a minute. <laughs>